I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Doing an update on the car here. Uh, as you see the motor's in and I got a lot done. So a couple little changes. I redid all my fuel lines, the PTFE, uh, new coil packs versus what it was before, added a pressure sensor on the clutch. Here's the new intake manifold. Yeah. Um, this was all recoded because it got burned in the fire. Added EGT probes. Go through here, new uh, inlet right here. New inlet feed, that Forge 90 fitting to a straight. Put a lightweight starter in from a 2AR, I believe, or one, no, 3MZ. I think that they're both the same. Put new clutch lines in, hard clutch lines. We got the drive-by wire, drive wire throttle body. I got to redo my intercooler pipe here now. So that's the next step. I'm going to have to put that in. It's getting really close. Man, I got to do the, this is all burned. I'll have to redo this line. <laughs> yeah. That looks bad. Just notice that. Um, dog box is in, it's filled with oil. Motor's filled with oil. You can see we added this uh, site. You can see the oil. The braking oil is red. So it's hard to tell, but just the top line right there is uh, kind of lines up just with full. Um, as you see, the axles and everything's in, drive shaft is in, exhaust is fully in. I added a flex fuel sensor. Here, here, I don't know if you can bring it over here. Here's the old fuel lines. Let's see if you can get here. The flex fuel sensor's over. Oh, bad. Uh, it died? No. Oh, there. <laughs> That's good. Uh, where is where did I put it now? It's the return. Oh, there it is. Back here. See it? Add the flex fuel. So I put uh, I put fuel in and put the pressure on. Pressure tested it. No leaks. So it's getting really close. I need the wire now, and that's what this is. Here's my wire harness, and I gotta go through this for the engine and get going on that. So once, yeah, this is all the old fuel lines. But get the engine harness going, and man, this thing is, it's getting really close. I'm pretty excited. So. Do a little bit more and uh, oh, hey. <laughs> and uh, you are the subject of the show. I am, yeah. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I had a problem with my power steering, but I fixed that. That's why the dash is all apart. The new shifter. So I gotta I just gotta redo a couple wires there, and then the dash can go back in, and then everything else is like the computer and everything around in there. But man, it's like it's basically just Get new plug wires and redo the intercooler piping and wiring, and I can start this thing. So 